Hello from Autodesk. In this video, I'll demonstrate how you can put dimensions on pipes in a 3D view. So let's get started. The main trick is to create reference planes for each of the pipes. Um, if I just try to annotate directly in the 3D view, you'll see what happens when I snap on the endpoints here of the pipe. Dimension is always down on the work plane, or the working work plane, I should say. So to overcome that, I'll first go to my elevation view from the north side, and first we create a work plane for that upper pipe, and then work plane for the vertical pipe, and then go to my west view and similarly create a work plane down there. The other thing is if I go to try to set a work plane current, you'll see that if I don't give the work planes a name, they don't show up in my list. So take care of that. I'll just simply give these the names A, B, and I'll call this one C. Okay. So now I can go to my 3D view and start placing dimensions on my pipes. But first I'll set my work plane, start with A. And you can also turn those work planes off just so you can kind of help see that you're going to be working in the right plane. So now I'll go annotate aligned. Snap to the face. Snap to that face, do it along this edge, change my work plane, get that dimension, and now switch planes to Plane C. Turn the display of the work plane off. And now orient my view as I wish. So that's one method by which to annotate dimensions on pipes in a 3D view. One thing to be aware of is that if you change, say, the elevation of your pipes, your dimensions won't go with them because by default the planes aren't moving with the pipes. So I'm going to undo that. And to take care of that, what I'll do is simply use the Align tool to constrain the pipes and the planes, locking them into place. Now when I go to the 3D view and change my elevation here, you see that since the pipes stay associated with the reference plane, it appears that the dimension moves with the pipe.